on with you guys. Thank you for tapping in with me again today. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Cleveland. So I, uh, I went to the store. I took your advice. Remember when, you know, I just was mentioning how I was having a hard time getting my lionfish to eat. Matter of fact, he hasn't eaten at all since I've had him. So uh, some of you recommended ghost shrimp. So I went to the store, like I said I would. Got some ghost shrimp. They're about 50 cents a piece. So uh, hopefully he'll eat one of these. Let's check it out. Let's see. All right, there's a lionfish right there. I won't, I'm going to reach into this. I need a container. Okay, there it is. And he look, he's looking interested. Oh, snap. They were right. They were right. Right on, y'all. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I'm excited because it's the first time I've seen him eat. Look how he's just stalking it. That's cool, that's how they do in the wild. Stalk their prey. Just waiting for it. They're ambush predators. Look how he's just closing in on them. Look at him, he doesn't even know what's coming. He's actually moving towards him. Uh-oh, here he come, here he go. Yeah, get it, get it, get it. You waited long enough for this meal. This is yours, take it. of you. Get it. Get it. This is amazing. Come on, get it. There you go. There you go. There you go. What? Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. I don't know what he's waiting on. Clearly he's interested. There we go. Just stalking him. Maybe he's too big. Maybe that's it. I don't know then guys. There we go, there we go, yeah. There we go, ha ha. Right on y'all, appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, you were right. Can't resist ghost shrimp. Man, much appreciated. For those of you that mentioned that to me today, you're the reason why I got this guy eating. So I really do appreciate y'all, seriously. That was amazing. So I have some more ghost shrimp. Where should I put them? Need to hold on to them. All right. I think he might be good with the one. What y'all think? Maybe I'll put them ghost shrimp in a... Uh, in the 10 gallon. Yep, maybe I'll throw them in the 10 gallon. I don't have a sponge filter for it. Hmm. I don't know where to put them. I'll figure it out. Anyway, as you can see, we finally got the line fish to eat. I'm happy. And it wouldn't have happened without you guys. So, uh, big shout out to y'all. All right, let's wrap this up. 
All right, y'all, so appreciate you all for stopping by. Again, this video was dedicated to y'all. I mean, like I said, y'all mentioned it to me today. I seen it, reckon I seen it, and I thought it was a great idea. So I wanted to show you that it worked, that it worked. So I had a very finicky um, lionfish, a very finicky lionfish. I had it, I bought it probably like maybe about two weeks ago, maybe a week and a half ago. He hasn't eaten at all this whole time. And um, a bunch of you awesome subscribers mentioned that I tried ghost shrimp. So I went and got some ghost shrimp. And as you just seen, he ate it. So thank you again. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Peace.